Imagine setting sail into the unknown, your destination cloaked in danger and icy mystery. This was the reality for the Franklin expedition, whose disappearance sparked centuries of speculation and search. What led these men into the deadly embrace of the Arctic? The answers lie hidden, scattered across the icy expanse, inviting us to piece together the puzzle of their fate. In 1845, the Franklin expedition was set to sail with two ships, HMS Erebus and HMS Terror, on a mission not just of exploration but of ambition to chart the Northwest Passage. This elusive sea route through the Arctic Ocean, connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, had captivated explorers for centuries. The Franklin expedition, led by the seasoned explorer Sir John Franklin, with Francis Crozier and James Fitzjames as his right-hand men, was the latest to attempt this treacherous journey. The quest for the Northwest Passage wasn't just about finding a shorter route to Asia, it was about national pride, scientific advancement, and the promise of commercial gain. Previous expeditions had mapped parts of the Arctic, but vast areas remained unknown and the passage itself unconfirmed. By the mid-19th century, technological innovations like reinforced ships to withstand ice pressures, steam engines for propulsion against sea currents, and canned food supplies gave new hope that the passage could be navigated. Franklin's expedition was the epitome of this era's ambition. The British Admiralty, under the influence of Sir John Barrow, had invested heavily in these ships and men, equipping them with the latest navigational tools and provisions for a multi-year voyage. This was to be the culmination of centuries of exploration, a definitive journey into the unknown, to fill the blanks on the map with the route that had eluded so many before. In May 1845, HMS Erebus and HMS Terror, each brimming with cutting edge, Victorian technology and fortified against the Arctic's deadly embrace, embarked from England on a voyage destined to etch their names into the annals of polar mystery. Loaded with supplies sufficient for three years, including innovative canned foods, the Erebus and Terror were designed to withstand the harshest conditions. Yet it was their disappearance that truly marked the beginning of their story. After a final stop in Greenland to stock up on supplies, the expedition was last seen by two whaling ships in Baffin Bay in late July 1845. From there they sailed into oblivion, entering the icy corridors of Lancaster Sound and vanishing from the world's eyes. The silence that followed was profound. Not a word, not a trace emerged from the Arctic's frozen vastness. As they sailed away from known waters, the 129 men aboard Erebus and Terror stepped into legend, leaving behind a narrative filled with questions that would puzzle historians, explorers and scientists for generations. In the eerie silence following the Franklin expedition's disappearance, the absence of news by 1848 spurred a series of ambitious search efforts. The British Admiralty, prodded by Lady Franklin's relentless campaigning and bolstered by a growing public outcry, initiated what would become one of the most extensive search operations in the history of Arctic exploration. These efforts represented a blend of naval might and private initiative, enlisting a wide array of ships and explorers to scour the Arctic's vastness for any trace of the lost men. The searches, characterized by their scale and scope, tapped into both European navigational prowess and indigenous knowledge, traversing uncharted territories and frozen seascapes. Despite these Herculean efforts, the initial searches yielded few tangible results, uncovering only sparse artifacts and cryptic Inuit testimonies that hinted at a dire fate for Franklin and his crew. These fragmented clues only deepened the aura of mystery surrounding the expedition's fate, transforming it from a mere missing persons case into a legend of endurance, tragedy, and the relentless pursuit of discovery against the unforgiving backdrop of the Arctic wilderness. Over the years, the enigma of the Franklin expedition began to unravel through a series of grim discoveries and clues that shed light on the fate of its 129 men. The first significant breakthrough came with the discovery of the Victory Point note, found tucked into a cairn on King William Island. Dated April 25, 1848, this note revealed that the Erebus and Terror had been abandoned. Sir John Franklin had died on June 11, 1847, and the survivors, led by Crozier and Fitzjames, intended to trek overland to salvation. This note was a critical piece of evidence, providing a timestamp to the expedition's struggle and underscoring the dire circumstances faced by the crew. 
Subsequent searches led to the uncovering of several sites scattered with artifacts and human remains, most notably on Beachy Island where the graves of three crew members were found, dating back to the expedition's first winter. These early losses hinted at the hardships to come, with forensic analyses later confirming causes of death including pneumonia, possibly exacerbated by tuberculosis and lead poisoning. King William Island became another key site, where more remains and a plethora of artifacts were discovered. These included personal items such as silver spoons, buttons, and items engraved with crew members' names alongside parts of the expedition's equipment. Each of these finds provided a tangible connection to the men who had ventured into the unknown, leaving behind clues to their final desperate attempts at survival. Perhaps the most harrowing evidence came from the analysis of human bones found at these sites, which bore marks suggestive of cannibalism. This grim revelation pointed to the extreme conditions and desperation faced by the crew in their final days. Scientific studies on the bones also indicated high levels of lead, likely from the solder used to seal their food cans, contributing to lead poisoning which would have exacerbated their dire situation, causing physical and mental deterioration. Inuit testimonies played a crucial role in piecing together the expedition's fate. Their accounts of encounters with starving men and sightings of a ghostly ship locked in the ice provided invaluable insights into the crew's struggles. These oral histories painted a picture of a grim fight for survival against the merciless Arctic environment. Together, these clues and discoveries tell a story of endurance, tragedy and human resilience. The narrative of the Franklin expedition took a dramatic turn with the modern discovery of the HMS Erebus in 2014 and the HMS Terror in 2016. These finds led by Parks Canada in collaboration with indigenous communities and other partners were monumental, not just for solving part of the mystery, but also for opening new chapters in understanding the expedition's fate. The Erebus was located in the southern part of Queen Maud Gulf, while the Terror was found remarkably preserved in Terror Bay, south of King William Island a discovery that astonished the archaeological community and the public alike. These wrecks, now considered National Historic Sites of Canada, have become the focal points for ongoing underwater archaeological studies. The exploration of these sites has provided unprecedented insights into the last days of the Franklin expedition, offering clues about the crew's life and the conditions they endured. Artifacts recovered from the Erebus and Terra, including navigational tools, personal items, and the ship's structures themselves are being meticulously analyzed to piece together the events leading to the expedition's demise. Moreover, the discovery of the ships has reinvigorated interest in the Franklin expedition, leading to new scientific and historical research. It underscores the value of combining traditional Inuit knowledge with modern technology in solving historical mysteries. These findings not only bring closure to a long-standing maritime enigma, but also highlight the enduring allure of polar exploration and the lessons it continues to teach about resilience, navigation and survival in extreme conditions. The Franklin expedition story from its hopeful departure to the tragic end and the subsequent unraveling of its mystery captures the human spirit's resilience and the profound mysteries that the Arctic holds. The recent discoveries of the Erebus and Terra offer not just closure, but also a reminder of our enduring fascination with exploration and the lengths to which we go to uncover the past. What do you think drove the men of the Franklin expedition forward in the face of such daunting odds? Share your thoughts in the comments below and have a lovely day.